Thank you for joining this how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we will review how Marketing Cloud uses the data type field email address inside a sendable data extension, how the field can lead to subscribers not being sent an email, and how to check if a subscriber from the sendable data extension is already on the all subscribers list. First, let's discuss how Marketing Cloud uses this field when sending an email. The email address data type indicates which field in your data extension should be used as a subscriber's email address. When you send an email, Marketing Cloud uses that field that was mapped to the subscriber key to make sure subscriber records already exist. If a subscriber does not exist, a new subscriber record will be created. When a data extension does not contain a field with the email address data type, or contains multiple fields with the email address data type, Marketing Cloud cannot create a new subscriber record on the All Subscribers list because we do not know what value we should use for the subscriber's email. This can cause a specific subscriber to not receive your email or email send counts to be lower than expected. If this happens, you can use a query activity to check which subscribers are not on the All Subscribers list. To do this, navigate to Journey Builder, then Automation Studio, then Activities. Select SQL Queries. For this video, we already created an SQL query, a targeted data extension to store the results, and a data extension that contains the subscribers we want to check. On this screen, you can see the SQL query, which looks inside the data extension, Send Data Extension, and the data view underscore subscribers. This query will return the subscribers that do not exist in the All Subscribers list. Let's click on Run Once to execute the SQL query. Now let's review the targeted data extension. Navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Now let's hover over Subscribers, then Data Extension. Let's click on Records. On this page, we can see all subscribers in the data extension that do not exist on the All Subscribers list. A second way to make sure the email is sent to all subscribers from the data extension would be to import into the All Subscribers list before sending and mapping the email address field within the import to ensure all subscribers are added to the list. You should now be able to understand how email address data type is used within a sendable data extension. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.